YouTubers, gamers, what's going on guys? Thanks for watching Messiah Entertainment. Now, this is my list for top 5 stars video games I want to see made. Check it out. Number 5, Star Wars 1313. Now let me say this, I was excited about this game, it looked good, it looked like it had great new characters, great graphics, and some great explosions, that's a good in my book, it looks so good people were even comparing it to Uncharted, and that's a good game, so come on. The gameplay also would have been cool too, it would have explored two bounty hunters using gadgets and weapons instead of, you know, the normal Jedi running around with a lightsaber and some force powers, so you know, that was a cool innovation too. And while that all sounds great, we'll never see it happen because the game was cancelled. Yep, cancelled. Once Disney got its hands all over LucasArts, the game was put on hold until the whole thing was called off. Now I don't know what's going to happen to this game, if anyone else is going to pick it up, but all I can do really is just cross my fingers, hope, and wait. Don't make me destroy you. Number 4. Republic Commando 2. Man, this had to be one of my earliest first person shooters, it, it kind of reminds me of like a Star Wars themed Halo game. And the story starts off with a group of clone troopers called Delta Squad. The game picks up right at the end of Attack of the Clones on Geosnosis and continues all the way to the beginning of the battle in Kashyyyk seen in episode 3. It gives us a whole new feeling for clone troopers as a whole. On very few occasions do we actually get to see the true personalities of clone troopers. They're usually either silent or taking orders from their Jedi Masters. It's nice to see them have little conversation and exchanges with each other that kinda is reminiscent of Battlefield Bad Company. It adds a bit of humanity to each of the characters and lets you care for them by the end of the game. Now, a sequel was planned for this game, it was in development, and it was to be called Imperial Commando. It was supposed to be about how the clones turned on the Jedi Order. You know that whole thing with Execute Order 66. I'm guessing it would have explained Delta Squad's role in that whole thing. Again, the game was cancelled, not making it much farther than really concept art. There's still rumors that a sequel may be in the works, but so far nothing concrete has really been brought to light. Star Wars Jedi Power Battle Sequel Man, it must have been, what, 14 years and I still love this beginning trailer. This game must have been one of my earliest games next to Star Wars Demolition and Dino Crisis. While I never actually finished the game, I remember having a lot of fun with it on my PS1. I was so young when it first came out that it really took me like a year to just to finish the first two levels. Sad, I know, but come on, I was only four, cut me some slack. It was an awesome Star Wars themed platformer. Uh, this game was pretty much my childhood, so I would love to see a sequel released. I could definitely see this game being released as like an arcade game for Xbox Live or PSN, you know? Now, this is the only good game on the list that wasn't cancelled. But then again, that also means they weren't thinking about it in the first place, so... Yeah, the future doesn't look too bright for this one. <laughs> Star Wars Rogue Squadron 4 I've never played the first one, but the later two games were phenomenal. Never again since these games have I ever felt a game that put me right in the middle of the movie. It combines dialogue and cutscenes inspired from the actual films and puts them in certain places in the game. This way you actually feel like you're on the battle for Hoth or Yavin or the Death Star. The second one, Rogue Leader, being one of my favorites, I must have played it for hours upon hours upon hours. Now the series hasn't been touched in about a decade, so it could have used a brand new installment. Actually, a fourth one was in the works for the Wii in around 2009. The developer, Factor 5, unfortunately went bankrupt. Again, the game was cancelled. Yet another great Star Wars game that may never be brought to light. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 3. The Knights of the Old Republic games have to be arguably one of the best Star Wars games and my favorite of all time. The two games paved way for newer RPGs like Mass Effect and revolutionized the genre. In addition to that, it has probably one of the best Star Wars storylines I've ever seen. 
And something that was unique for the time that it was released in, Knights of the Old Republic let you choose which sort of ending you wanted. You could either side with the Jedi and do the right thing, or you could turn to the dark side and join the Sith in destroying the Republic. Turn on your closest companion? Go ahead! You could do it! Both of the games are classics. There may have been some discrepancies with Knights of the Old Republic 2's ending, but I feel that could be overlooked as the rest of the game was pretty spot on. A third entry into the Knights of the Old Republic series is long overdue and has been my hope for such a long time. And no, I'm not talking about some MMORPG, an actual third installment, a single player direct sequel to the original two games. Now believe it or not, Knights of the Old Republic 3 was actually in development and planned for a 2005 release. LucasArts at the time was apparently going through some tough times, which eventually ended up with the game being cancelled. Damn it, another LucasArts game cancelled? What is going on? Me and I know tons of other people would love to see another sequel to this game. Not an MMO, an actual sequel. Bioware Obsidian, if you can hear this, please, I want to see a sequel to this game. Giving us the first game on our iPad isn't going to sustain us for long, we need more. <laughs> Well, that's it. That's my list of top five Star Wars video games that need to be made. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. This is but a taste of the dark side. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords.